Right, here we go. This is my chopper. Uh, I'll actually have my chopper off as much as I can. It's looking a little bit worse for wear. And this is how it looks by the end of the video. There I am. That's another view of my head from a, from a different angle. So I started off by pulling off the, the old seat cover. Uh, it was looking a little bit worse for wear and wasn't the colour I was going for. So I decided to replace it. It was quite easy to take off, just basically pull some staples out the back and peel it off. I must admit the foam looks a bit minging, as does the old seat cover. This is the new seat cover fake leather uh, I bought online, cost me about seven or eight quid and turned up about a day later. So I started off by measuring it against the old seat cover, just so I know I've got enough. Uh, that's me brushing it down because I think that's something you should be doing. I started by putting the uh, foam on top of the fake leather and spraying it with some spray glue. Uh, this stuff, yeah, it seems to be pretty impressive. It is only from Wil Wilco's, uh, cost me about five pound. Ah, and most importantly, go and make yourself a cup of tea while it's drying. You want to leave it for about five minutes until it gets a bit tacky. Uh, once it's tacky, you can then place the fake leather over the top of the seat and the foam, and it should, you should feel it getting a bit tacky and sticking to the seat. This is where my knowledge of uh, upholstery uh, went to zero, as I've never done anything like this before, and I started to think, have I done, have I made a mistake? Obviously, it's too late to change it now, so I just cracked on and winged it as per usual. It's bloody hot in that shed, so we, uh, you're gonna have to excuse the beads of sweat running down my face. I end up sweating like a Hollywood producer in a school playground. Uh, it was rather hot and sweaty. So basically what I'm doing is, is stretching the um, fake leather over the seat cover and just pushing it in the uh, best I could to try and get to the shape of the seat. Again, not knowing what I'm doing, this was just a bit of trial and error and winging it the whole way through. Um, but by this point I started to get an understanding of how it all worked and it, it was starting to look like a seat again. So what you want to do is when it gets to the corners, you want to just try and stretch it out and pull it under as tight as you can and then fold it underneath. I'm not sure whether if I was to do it again, I'd, whether I'd get as many of these little creases around the edges. That's something obviously in the next build I'll find out. So I just use this staple gun to uh, pinch it into place, obviously with just staples and the glue. I knew that um, it was going to stay there or thereabouts. Moving on to the back of the seat, again, it's just trial and error, just a lot of pulling, a lot of pushing, and a lot of sticking down. Uh, get to a point where you're happy with it, and then whack a staple in, and that should hold into place. Obviously, towards the end of this seat covering, I was starting to get some creases. Um, that I knew needed to be stretched out. And it's bloody hot. So just keep pulling and stretching and you will get to something that's starting to look like a seat again. Obviously I'm starting to repeat myself again, but it's just a case of pulling it, pushing it in, sticking it down, and then whacking the staple in, just to hold it underneath. I 
obviously touch it up, touch the seat up as much as you want. Um, it's not pervaded, but it kind of looks like I'm enjoying this a little bit too much. And it's time for a tea break. <laughs> um, I do like my cups of tea, even when it is 100, 100 degrees outside. So I've taken some massive scissors now and cutting away some of the excess uh, fake leather or flever. So we're going to start pulling it from now on. Uh, this doesn't really, it's only getting in the way really. Uh, and I noticed that some of the glue was um, not as tacky as I wanted it to, so I'm just adding a little bit more. Again, you want to leave this for a good five minutes to start getting tacky before putting it down. Uh, once you're there, again, just stretching it over and putting it down. So again, staple away as much as you want. Um, I don't think, just be careful you don't go too low because you will go through the side of the seat, which I did uh, on one of the staples. Um, but for some strange reason, it didn't make any holes on the seat cover. Um, obviously it just fixed itself. Uh, I don't think you can put too many staples in to be honest with you. So I just wanted to make sure that everything was in there and tight and uh, it looked like it wasn't just going to pop off when I sat on it. So there's a the finished seat, looking rather cool if I do so myself. I think at this point I did impress myself a little bit even though I'm trying to be cool. Just cut off the excess flavour and uh, just a couple more staples where you think you'll miss a bit. Don't get me wrong, uh, the seat isn't perfect, uh, but it looks a lot better than it did before with that old uh, worn seat cover that was on it. And this is the end result. Uh, really impressed. I've actually impressed myself at that point. So we're just going to put the seat back together, it's like a plastic plate, four screws, just pinches everything back in and then you have uh, four bolts that uh, holds the, the pole and the back arm rest, or some, what do you call that, back rest onto the seat. And I'm just checking, making sure my GoPro is still filming, which it was, and this is a finished seat. So this was my first attempt at covering a seat on a chopper. Um, I'm a little bit impressed with myself. I think it's come out quite well. A couple of little creases here and there, but I think that's due to the sponge underneath. Uh, if I was to replace that, there wouldn't be any flaws on it whatsoever. But for what I need it for, you know, it's done the job really. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, for our first attempt anyway, I'm impressed. So, as always guys, thank you for watching, give us a thumbs up, subscribe somewhere down the bottom and I will catch you in the next one.